we prepare ourselves for Holy Communion. But we read the Thanksgiving prayers after Holy Communion. But then what? Christ won't be asking us, as far as I can tell, uh, how many times did you receive communion? How many times did you go to church? That is, without question, important. Everybody knows that. That's central to our life. But the question that will be posed is the question of charity. And this is the driving motor of FFA. It's Christ-centered charity. The mission that we have, supporting the youth, the clergy, and emergency relief, it's hugely impactful. And to be able to be part of that whole process, to support the continuation of a tradition that hails directly from Christ's roots is just fantastic. Mankind was beginning to help each other, to carry each other's burdens, which is something we have to begin to do in a greater effort, greater drive right now than we've ever done before. As we come out of the church, we have to be inspired to do more, to continue living the liturgy after the liturgy. We have to put the faith that we have nourished in the sacramental life of the church into action. Where does it start? It starts with our youth. Where do the youth get their example from us? Not from what we say, but what we do. Unfortunately, too often there's a lot of this, but very little action. To talk about something but not do it doesn't mean anything. Please help us uh, protect our youth. Please help us uh, support our priests and uh, support the mission of Rokor. Only you can do it.